Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome. Please continue to join us here every morning for the word. Um, so y'all know what the deal is. Pull out them Bibles if you're home. Um, if not, please just listen and pay attention. Today's video won't be very long. We are in the book of Mark, and we are at chapter 6, and we will be reading verse 12 through 16. This is the book of Mark. We are in chapter 6, verse 12 through 16. So I'm going to give you all a second to pull it up. Say amen um, when you find it. Hoping to hear a lot on you guys inside the screen. And um, just give you all a minute or so longer so that um, you can pull it up. And I hope you all have been going out and purchasing Bibles or putting um, the Bible app on your phone just to keep it with you. I'll give y'all just one more second. Like I said, this won't take long, y'all. I've been sitting up here reading scriptures for probably about the past half an hour trying to find out what word the Lord wanted me to read um, today to y'all. So please be reading along with me. Like I told y'all the other day, we're accountability partners, so we both need to be reading for comprehension, all right? Okay, so I'm going to get into prayer. And then we can begin. Uh, dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together again another morning. For waking us up and allowing us to have family and friends around us and homes and uh, vehicles and sources of income. Thank you for the many things we forget to say thank you for on a regular basis, dear Lord. The fact that we can walk and talk. Um, dear Lord, I thank you for communing with us and gracing us with your presence every morning as we come here to read the word. I ask that you continue to provide us comprehension and clarity and understanding as we read over the word. Please allow this video to get out there to touch others who may not know you and bring us all closer to you. Dear Lord, I thank you for the word you've provided us today. Amen. Amen. Okay, so y'all, um, that's Mark 6, 12 through um, 16. So I hope I hear a couple amens. I'm going to go ahead and begin. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick. And healed them. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead. And therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said that it is Elias. And others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. All right, y'all. So that was um, Mark 6, 12 through uh, 16. Like I said, I've been um, reading probably for about that past half an hour. So, I did read a little further, a little ahead. I like to try to get the context of what I'm, I'm reading about, especially before I bring it to you guys. In the event that there's any questions in the comment section, please start commenting and liking and sharing, guys, so that we can continue to get this out to other people. Um, I recommend, as a little bit of homework, uh, go ahead and continue reading um 17 through let's see here i 
I say 17 through 30. Because I almost um, finished the chapter I read so far ahead. But like I said, we're going to get to the point where we're reading multiple verses. We're reading um, a whole chapter. Get through a whole book. So some of these videos may start to get a little longer because we need to read more of the word. So um, y'all little homework for today is Mark 6 verse 7 through 30 and I'll put uh, mark 6 through 16 as the title of the video so y'all don't forget please put this in your notes and um, of course write in your notes and in the comment section what you feel like today's word was about or how it may have touched you or affected you or uh, just reminded you of God's grace today, okay, y'all? And tomorrow we'll be back with another lesson plan. Um, tomorrow's Thursday, so Tuesdays and Thursdays are our lesson plans. And I'm also thinking about doing something um, like fun on Saturday that'll be engaging for um, you guys because I want to keep you guys engaged and active and encouraged to continue to read so i'm gonna go ahead and um close with prayer i thank y'all again for joining me and please come back tomorrow please keep coming back and i'll keep coming back and we'll continue to be those accountability partners remember a scripture a day helps keep that devil away okay just like the doctor and the apple you know what i'm talking about all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then I'll see you all for tomorrow's lesson. Dear Lord, thank you again for providing us with the word, for waking us up this morning, for allowing us this space and platform to commune and uh, come together as brothers and sisters in Christ and just be able to read the word in a safe place. Uh, dear Lord, I ask that you continue to uh, allow us to have this platform, to continue to meet up each day, continue to have this video be able to spread to others around the world so they may see it and learn a little more about you and your word, dear Lord. I thank you so much for the many opportunities that you have provided, not just me, but others out there uh, to be able to spread your word. Uh, it gives me joy, and I know it does give others joy as well. I ask that you continue to grace us with your presence, of course, but continue to dwell with us throughout our day. Continue to talk to us and keep us on the right path. Continue to order our footsteps, dear Lord. I ask that uh, you protect us throughout our day today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, y'all, so... um. Like I said, I will see you tomorrow for the lesson. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow.